Yay, Etsy! Alright, let's get into this. Welcome, guys and gals, to their Kern Snapes video. Or should I say, Vidya. So, yeah, I, I don't know... I don't know if I just hate myself, or I like the pain, or... Or what, but yeah, so Etsy. Etsy. I, I I should know better, but you know what? Here, let's let's take a look at the listing real quick. So, old US coins, estate sale, lot, silver bills, all over fifty years old. Okay. Mm Alright, so yeah, let's take a couple look at a couple of these pictures here. Yeah, it looks pretty promising, yeah. Looks very promising. And there is one one-star rating. Great. Uh, there's a couple of five stars, which, I mean, who knows? But anyways, as you can see here, paid $59.99 for this against my better judgment. Let's take a look at the description here. Please note you will not receive everything shown in the pictures. Everything in a quotations. Interesting. Also, because this is such a huge lot, I cannot pull out specific types of coins or dates for you when buying multiple lots. No two lots are exactly the same. However, all guaranteed items mentioned above shall be double checked for accuracy and included. Okay. So everything's at least 50 years old. The gold item included with these lots are in the form of gold leaf. Yeah. Yeah. I've heard many, many a tale about the gold leaf. Um, if you want to go ahead and pause here at any point, go for it, obviously. But, guarantee 10 items you get. Two silver coins, Indian head pennies, two vintage U.S. banknotes, which could include blue or red seal silver certificates, and or a 1976 $2 uncirculated bicentennial. Jefferson banknote. Ah, uh, okay. That's not over 50 years old. Buffalo Nichols BU, 50-year-old BU coin, World War II coin, and silver bar, and gold flake. Okay, doesn't sound very specific. Here is a great opportunity to purchase a wonderful lot of quality items filled with U.S. currency, all for starting at under $30. Okay, so for some reason, I was charged the $59.99 I'm not sure if it was supposed to be 30. I don't know. I'll investigate that a little bit. But all right, enough babbling. Let's go for it. So yeah, spent uh, 60 bucks on this. Uh, the person did have other ones on there for 30 bucks. As you saw, there are good reviews. Um, I, I hope the reviews are accurate. But most of those look like they were for the $30 ones. But we'll see. Anyways, usual caveats. You're not going to pay off a car with this or you know anything like that this is purely for science this is for experimentation <sighs> hopefully this is about the mystery but i already have a feeling that I, that I, you know i i think the mystery is is going to be that i'm i'm not going to be very happy with this but what the heck if, if i can do this and it could save you guys from having to buy some of these bad grab bags or um you know certainly one from etsy then then so be it here we go. Uh, I'm going to put the estimated value uh, up here, like usual, for each individual item. Um, going to have to, of course, do it off of the internet um, as far as, like, you know, what you could expect to pay. I'm not going to do eBay prices this time because it's not from eBay, you know, the whole apples to apples, oranges to oranges type of thing. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to get a very general idea of what you could expect to pay at like a local coin shop or a coin show or something like that. Something out of the Red Book or maybe even something a little bit more accurate than the Red Book. Because um, as you guys probably know, the, the Red Book is a good general price guide, but not necessarily super specific. I don't know. I'm probably just babbling because I'm delaying the inevitable. But let's just talk a little bit about this bulk right here. Um... You know, typically when you spend 60 bucks on a grab bag or, you know, an estate, part of an estate coin collection or whatever, um, you want something that weighs a little bit more than, than three ounces. And this is, yeah. Well, let's do it. All right. Go ahead and test our luck here. 
I'm going to try to go a little bit gentle because as you saw there should be some currency in here. With my luck I would cut the currency. All right. Uh, let's see here. That's obviously going to be some currency. Speak of the devil. That's our vial of gold. Uh, wow, okay. So this is just pretty much... Okay, so there's a little bit of history of some of the coins on here and what you can expect. If you guys want to go ahead and pause, go for it. You do you. You live your life. I am not going to read the whole thing. Because I either know it or... Yeah, it's mostly just descriptions of the coins that you can expect. So I, I think that they're kind of trying to build up the things that you're going to get in here. Alright. And that is... A very empty envelope. Okay, well, let's take a look at what we got here. So, first off, we have a 1920, let's see, 1929, plain buffalo nickel. Of course it is. We have a BU Jefferson nickel, 1954. Yeah, it's definitely uncirculated. That is a Denver Mint. No steps, kind of as expected. And a Wheat Penny, 1957 Denver, great. I'll add that to the 17 rolls of uncirculated Denver 1957 Wheat Cents that we have. And a couple Merc Dimes. 1942, I'll of course check to see if that's a two over one, but I kind of doubt it. It's a plane. It's a bird, it's a plane. No, it's a circulated mercury dime. 1945, plane. One gram of silver, yep. One whole gram of silver. What is that? Protected by the Second Amendment. Okay. All right. An 1880 Indian head. Definitely in good condition. G4. Looks like a fine, maybe, 1906 Indian head. And then, of course, a 1943 Steely. 1943 Denver? Yes, 43 Denver. Okay, so I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a good look peek at these coins. Pretty common stuff. Ah, who am I kidding? Extremely common stuff as you have seen by the prices that have been above each and every one of these coins all right so there's that let's get the inevitable over with yay gold flakes I don't know a whole lot about this stuff, although I see this a lot in certain grab bags and people say to generally avoid them. Yeah, I've got gold all over my fingers now. Well, I actually have value. But yeah, this is gonna be, this is like the rich man's glitter, I guess. I don't know if this is even real gold. I would assume it's real gold, but you know what happens when you assume about that. But leave it down in the comments what you guys feel about this. I mean, this is obviously practically nothing in gold. I mean, I've lost most of it on my fingers already anyways. But yeah, 
down below, let us know what you guys think about this, because I know a lot of you guys do the grab bags as well, and I've never actually bought one with the gold vials, probably for a good reason, but I mean, again, for science, this is an experiment. I want to do something other than eBay. Okay, and let's see what's in here. I'm not even going to use the, you know, maybe just a little. Maybe just a tiny bit. I mean, kind of cheating from seeing the pictures, but we already have a pretty good idea of what is going to be in here. I mean, it's probably going to be 1957 silver certificates. Extremely common. Uh, bicentennial dollar bill. Which, there is that. Uncirculated condition. Not uncommon at all. And that's it. Eh, triple fives. Oh, look at that. 1957 silver certificate. Well spent, but no apparent actual damage. Looks like the corners are decent and all that. But I mean, it's still, you know, it's been folded two, three, four hundred thousand times. All right, so. This. All of this from Etsy cost me 60 bucks. And I've never bought anything from Etsy. I was really crazy and decided to buy this as my first thing from Etsy. Do you guys know if you can return things through Etsy or if you can, you know, is it individual per seller, whether or not they accept returns? Because, I mean, I... I haven't researched the values yet as of me filming this, obviously you guys have already seen it, but I mean, this is obviously not even kind of a little bit close remotely to 60 bucks worth of stuff. This was, this was a ripoff. And I kind of knew that. I knew that's what was going to happen, but again, as an experiment, something a little bit different. Uh, you guys probably saw the title to this video and cringed or threw up your mouth a little bit. I don't blame you. But anyways, let's put the total value of all of these things together right now, right up here, or at least as much as I can estimate it. And uh, I won't ask you to put in the comments if you would get this because, I mean, I highly doubt that you would. I certainly wouldn't get it again. But um, yeah, so there you go. A little bit of a different, a uh, little bit of a different pain, I guess. Yeah, all right, so uh, finally got the 1,000 friends giveaway in the mail today, literally. So Monday, I'm going to do the giveaway for that. So make sure you're, if you're not subscribed, make sure you're subscribed to either public subscriber. Get that out of the way. That way you don't have to worry about it when the video comes out on Monday. Uh, and I mean, it's free and it helps out the channel. Best way to help out the channel. If you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Tick the bell to get a notification every time we do upload a video. Thanks for being patient on the slow trickle of videos. It's just been a long year already, but, you know, blah, blah, blah. Working on getting more videos out to you guys. But just remember, we love you all. We appreciate every single one of you guys that come by and check out our videos. Until next time, love you all. God bless. And I'm going to get this stuff off the table. Stay safe.